Now, let's go ahead and let's talk about density. Density is, again, it's right above percent air. And the equation for it is density equals mass divided by volume. Okay. Now, when we're working out problems like this, the main way where normally people mess up is they don't uh, do the algebra correctly. So we're going to go over how to do the algebra. Now, density equals our mass divided by volume. Now, if we want to solve for the mass, okay, so we want to solve for the mass, well, all we would do is we multiply both sides by the volume, and we would get mass equals density times volume, and that would give us our answer if we were searching for mass. Now, if we take our equation, density equals mass divided by volume, and we want to solve for volume, just a little trick that you can do is if you're ever solving for something on the denominator and you have a variable by itself, just switch them. So we would switch volume and density, and what we would get is volume equals mass divided by density. Okay. Now, these three equations are the only equations that we will use um, for density. It'll either density equals mass divided by volume, or if we're solving for mass, it'll be mass equals density times volume, or if we're solving for volume, it'll be mass divided by density. But these are the only equations that you use. Okay? And all you have to do is you have to basically pick out the problem. If it says mass and it says volume, it'll probably ask you for density. If it gives you density and volume, it's probably asking for mass. And if it gives you mass and density, it's probably searching for volume.